Hi everybody, we are over here at 254 Mangles over here in the Sunnyside neighborhood, which is, well, sunny today. So we're gonna see a house listed with Jen and Jess over at Legacy. And it's a really special house, mid-century house, but they've done a lot of upgrades. You can already start seeing here, the landscaping is beautiful. And just wait until you see the backyard. Um, there are solar panels, there are upgrades to the kitchen and bathrooms uh, done with permits and a lot of the stuff is very custom. This block is the uh, flatter part here and you can see the houses are mid in uh, mid-century as well but uh, each ones have different variations. So we're gonna go in and it's gonna be that typical sort of uh, three bedrooms and two bathrooms. We've got two upstairs and then you've got one down here and um, we will go in. Let me see if we can. Uh, Jess is just explaining everything here. And then we go in. Let's go up. Let's go. Hi. I'm gonna come around you guys. Hi. So let's go upstairs first. So we've got a really bright feel and disposition. It's okay. <laughs> what? Oh no, DGI, right? <laughs> so they've done their kitchen in here. It's really nice. You've got uh, the quartz countertops. You've got a nice gas range here. You've got the exhaust fan up there, the microwave here, nice cabinetry, nice refrigerator, dining little area here, and they have a little rendering if you took out this wall, which actually is pretty straightforward. You have to investigate to make sure it's not load bearing, of course, but once it's open, it'll be really nice. Sellers here moved up to Marin County, so um, they loved it. They love that nature feel, and you'll see that in a second. Here you've got double pane windows, big sliders as well, ceilings here. I think they're eight feet tall if I'm not mistaken. Let me do my little measuring thing here. Let's see. Yep. Eight foot on the dot. You've got the uh, traditional oak uh, floors, uh, oak plank flooring here. And here, let's go back and see this. So, so we came up that way. You've got two bedrooms. First bedroom here. And you start to see the back, which we'll see more in detail a little bit. Across the way, you've got the little telephone booth area before, from before, really nicely done bathroom. Love that tile. You've got uh, custom storage. Lift up and pull here. Oh my gosh. Wow, they weren't kidding about that. That is really cool. Uh, you've got your shower niches here. You've got a nice deep tub. Really nice grogy um, shower s system set here. Beautiful uh, skylight, recessed lights here. Floating vanity, super functional toto toilet, nice tile, and then really good uh, uh, towel bars and whatnot. Across the way, you've got the other bedroom. Whoops, no, you've got that bedroom, and then you've got this bedroom here. So you'll start seeing in the back that there's something special. And you will see that in a moment. It is pretty fantastic. Uh, finishing here, closet here. And then over here, again, you've got that space. Now you could open it up more if you want, because you've got a kitchen here, and you've got this little wall here. You could open this up if you wanted to. Maybe you have a little more open space. Maybe you have this, if this gets opened or not. Um, kids across the way, and the sellers here had kids too, which were great. And uh, let's see, what else did they say? So we've got outdoor living space, 15 minutes. We're close to everything, five blocks. It's all very good. Let them finish downstairs. Um, you see, they got the nice light switch, Lutron, the Decora cover plates here. Try smart. Here's the return for your furnace, and you've got the little closet here. So let me see if I can go down here. Stairs going down. Stairs are here, and we're gonna go over here and take a look over here. So we've got the entry. We've got the big garage here. So the garage is really big. Unfinished, but you've got a lot of uh, storage, workbench area. You've got updated electrical here. You've got the solar panels on the roof. And then you've got this nice deep space here. Let me see, I think the length, let's see if I measure here, it's like 33 to 35 feet. Your laundry is over here. And then you've got your old school furnace. That's an Atlas furnace from way back when, but it still works water heater here. You've also got a uh, landscape gray water recapture system, which we'll see. I'll show you in just a second. And then 
over here. You've got your uh, bedroom bathroom here. Uh, eight foot ceilings, no, seven foot ceilings, eight foot ceilings. Let me look. I think it's eight feet. Let me re-measure again. Yep, eight feet down here, which is great. Oak floors here. You've got this here. You've got the old school walk-in shower. Easy to put a light up top if you wanted to. Uh, and then we've got here, and then we've got the little heat lamps up there. So now, let's take a look outside. Oh, I love these black stem hydrangeas. So this is really impressive. These are one of the, the retaining wall and the system, the hardscaping that you would probably see in a much more expensive house. A Noe Valley house, Eureka Valley, uh, you know, Pacific Heights, Presidio Heights, all the houses where you have a, a, a grade. But here you've got a lot of concrete. The second house today that has a fountain and um, you've got a very good uh, drainage system here. You've got your French drain system here, a little catch basin, a cistern, and you've got a little sump pump as well because you have, I think it's something like 180 feet, uh, 180 foot deep lot, which is great. And over here, you have the access to the garage again. So if you ever need landscaping work or maybe you finish this area here, you can keep this bedroom private. But let's explore, shall we? So we've got this built-in bench area here. We've got built-in landscape lighting. I love the uh, mixing pebbles and the um, fountain here. We've got um, obviously drought sensitive and tolerant plants. Solid concrete. I mean, look at that. The paver stones keep going up and you've got this beautiful black gravel here. Really cool Japanese maple, succulents, and uh, you know, grasses that are great. We keep going up and a little more up here. So it's a little steeper, but when you get to the top up here, oh, the artichoke there. Oh, some artichokes are about here. Look at this flat area here. Neighbor's yard, but neighbor is going to be moving soon. The other neighbor there has, oh, look, they have a little Roman chair here, but take a look. Beautiful tree up here, and you've got this area even back here. According to the sellers, they have uh, kids, and the kids would play and dig around and run and play here. It's just really pretty lovely, really. Um, look at that back here. I love this uh, fence divider barrier here. Take a look. Now, some cactus and succulents there, so you got to watch out for that. But take a look here. You've just got a solar array up there. That's a solar panel. I wonder what they're... Your utility bill is probably really low and you just got more and more and more look at that what a fantastic house so 254 mangles listed i can't remember what jen and jess said they listed it at but it's somewhere in the one four one five range there's about 1100 1200 square feet total over two levels you can clearly tell the uh, landscaping here is superior you know, in terms of uh, houses that you've seen uh, with steep grades in the back, I, I, I don't think I've seen one that has been well thought out and well engineered as this. So I feel really uh, safe, shall we say, here because you just have this really just beautiful sort of Mediterranean, Californian feel. And yet you're so close to all of the other things that Sunnyside is great for. You also have proximity to the freeway, proximity to BART proximity to great schools and weather that's pretty not too bad i'd say right anyway it's kevin ho here uh she's gonna do offers by the way on wednesday the 23rd i think uh, but just a pretty uh, pretty house oh irrigation here full voltage lighting and all that good stuff here i mean it's just really just a great feel great space and uh, thank you for coming along with us all right, take it easy and be sure to check out our other property tours and we'll see you at the next one.